Bowls. All right, let's just get in there, Banjo. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, you're not going to be the one laughing this second here, Octopus Boy. Alright, let's jam, people. Yeah, that, that's real nice. Goodbye! After I friggin' destroy his world, throw him down in a race. The guy's a jerk. I didn't like him. Well done! Just one more piece of the amulet left. Soon you'll be ready for Whizpig. You can do it! That's right, I can do it. Friggin' Banjo can do it! Look at that man. Look at that ferocious beast. Alright, so check this out, comrades. Look at this. One beautiful world completely knocked out. All we got left is that key door and the trophy challenge. We're gonna come back to that. Oh, look at that. The genie didn't accost me like he usually does. Oh well. Oh well. So, we've got a little loop of victory right there. Let everyone know that we're just. Oh, just running the wall. <laughs> so, what are we going to next, comrades? I think. Oh man, look at that. I think we're gonna have to. We have to investigate this pig for a second. Look at these, these. Oh, dang it! I forgot you can't like Star Fox it and turn around. Look at that though. Look at that. That's, I don't know why we're collecting this amulet. That that thing looked a lot better. It was just a carving. I don't want a big fleshy rock face, like in the out in the mountain. Look at, that's that's pretty nasty. I don't I'm not into that. But if I remember right, through this waterfall. Oh yeah, look at the memory serves. Memory serves. You can't touch banjo. Dragon Forest. Okay, comrades, what we got? We got a 16, 17, 20, 22, Haunted Woods, Exit, ha Windmill Plains. There's TT right there. There's the Power Slide. There's Boulder Canyon, Greenwood Village. Power Slide! And, oh, what are we gonna do? We're spinning, we're spinning. Oh, snap, when does it ever end? And, oh, that's where it ends. Ha! Ah. See, I had you go in there, didn't I? So let's take a look at this here. Windmill planes. We got ourselves some helicopter. Not helicopters. We got some airplanes. What do you call those airplanes with the propellers on the front? Oh my. Jeez. Banjo. I mean, he said go. You can't just go. What's wrong with you? So, anyways, yeah, what do you call those airplanes with the propellers on the front? Are they just. Is there a special name for them? All you aviators out there, please, uh, please fill me in. Will you fill me in? I'm gonna fill you in, comrades. It's some crazy stuff that happened to me. I, uh. Alright, so this, this is, uh, Kami's hypochondriac hour. I'm not, um, I'm not a hypochondriac by any stretch of the imagination. Like, I don't, I never think that I'm sick. I never go to the doctor or anything like that, but 
whew, something happened to me, and it was it was uncomfortable, to say the least. I, uh... Okay, so I've been having a hard time sleeping lately. And, uh, like the last, like, month or so. So one day, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna get some sleeping pills, that'll help me out. You know, I can't, uh, my sleeping pattern is, er is erratic, I can't, I just, I can't do it. So, go to the store, I get the old, I get the old groovy sleeping pills. Uh, I take some at like 10, I'm, I'm out. Uh, I'm, I'm just blown away at these, you know, crappy $6 generic brand sleeping pills, because they, I mean, it's, it was almost frightening, like they literally just knock you unconscious, they just like shut your brain off and then you sleep. But it was good, I was sleeping, sleeping regularly again, everything was going well, and I wasn't, I wasn't using them, everything, they did, they served their function, right? So, a couple weeks go by, uh, I start having some trouble again, so I pop down some of those. I, uh, I wanted to take them out right away, so I take three. And to my uh, to my horror, not only do they not make me sleep, they make me stay awake, and they give me some of the worst muscle aches I've ever had in my life. I'm just I spend so much time just, just laying in bed and like, oh, why can't I sleep? Why do my arms hurt so badly? Oh, why? And see, all this bad stuff is happening. And on top of that. Uh, it was. I was almost kind of afraid because as I was laying there, my arms would be hurting, and Banjo would be winning races. That's not. That's not. A, that's not frightening to me. That's frightening to the other racers. <laughs> so I would be laying there. I'd be trying to sleep. I'd be in great pain, and out of nowhere, my arms would just start shaking. And at first, I thought it was like, okay, you know what? Maybe. Maybe it was caffeine. You know, I've been drinking a lot of coffee. I drank. A, I drank. You know, like six six pots of coffee, like an hour ago. So maybe this is just my body trying to get get some of that excess caffeine out. That's why that's why I'm still awake. That's why these aren't doing what they're supposed to do. Has anyone ever had that happen to them? You uh, you know, maybe you have too much pent up caffeine and you don't go out and run around or whatever, and your teeth chatter or something. Uh, I've heard of that happening. You know, you drink a lot of soda or something, then at night you grind your teeth because your energy because your body's just trying so hard to get rid of all that excess energy. So I thought, okay, well that's what it is, that's what it is, alright. So, so I just let my arms go, and they start shaking really violently. Like, I don't try to hold it back, and it's, it's almost scary. Like, I'm like, oh my god, am I having a mild seizure? What is, what is going on? But, you know, so it finally, it blows over. It gets to be like four in the morning, I lay, I had been laying there for literally like five hours. Com like, the most, most sleepy I'd ever been in my entire life, because I did just take three sleeping pills. I felt so sleepy, but I just could not sleep. And, but but it blows over. I finally go to sleep, and in the morning it's like, wow, that was a bad idea. Okay. Okay. Day or two goes by. I think, okay, I'm gonna try this again. I don't drink any coffee, no soda, all day. And I think, okay, well, I'm just gonna take two. You know, maybe and I'm just gonna do this, do this, do this normally. Okay, so I pop down the two sleeping pills. Happens again, happens even worse than the first time. And I'm like, what is going on? So, as I'm in a sleepy, shaky, painful days at, you know, 3 in the morning, I uh, pop on the old computer and I start looking up like side effects of, side effects of sleeping pills. And it's like, oh yeah, muscle aches are totally a side effect, man. And so I'm laying, so I'm like, okay, fine, I'll just, you know, do a little bit of a massage on my, on my arms, maybe that'll, that'll maybe, maybe that'll li lighten it up. And it doesn't. So, I don't know what made me think this. I don't want me think I was gonna win. It's because I'm Banjo. Banjo always wins. So I don't know what gave me this idea, but I decide, okay, you know what? I don't know why, but I'm gonna look up restless leg syndrome. Because everybody's heard of restless leg syndrome. Everybody laughs at it. It's easy to make fun of, you know. So I look it up, and turns out restless leg syndrome is like a thing. And it doesn't just affect your legs, it can affect any part of your body, including your arms. Huh. And the syndrome includes extreme muscle pain in your limbs. Huh, okay, check. It includes, uh, the muscle pain becomes much, much worse when you're stationary, especially when you're laying down. And uh, check. It becomes much worse at night. Check. And it also, strangely enough, one of the actual medical symptoms is, quote unquote, an irresistible urge to shake that body part. So, 
Uh, well, now it kind of makes me wonder if somebody has it like in their butt and they just have to like shake their booty and just like be dancing all night. That's an interesting idea. But anyway, so I'm thinking like, dude, do I have restless arm syndrome or something? It's like, oh my god, this is karma. I spend, I spend, you know, my entire life thinking, oh, restless leg syndrome. That's so funny. That's such a ridiculous name for a disease. Ha ha ha! And now, now it slammed me. So. I do a, I do a little bit more research, and I do not have restless leg arm syndrome. Uh, turns out, restless leg syndrome is caused by a deficiency or a misfiring or an imbalance. There you go, an imbalance of dopamine in your brain, and that screws up your legs. And sleeping pills can intensify restless leg syndrome. So my guess is these freaking sleeping pills, they they literally, I mean, like I said, they just knock you out. I mean, it's like, I mean, I mean, technically, I mean, technically it is a drug. I mean, it's just, it's frightening almost. So my guess is those sleeping pills just like turn off the dopamine in your brain and just knock you unconscious. I don't know if that's how, I don't remember high school psychology. I don't remember if that's how dopamine works, but it seems to make sense. And then it causes those those symptoms in me. So, no more sleeping pills for me, it's just gonna be smooth sailing with less coffee and more winning races! Oh snap! <laughs>